Yami-san. Nachan. What are you guys talking about so seriously over here? N nothing really. Just talking about what our dreams were last night. Oh yeah? Anything interesting? Not especially. Just wondering about stuff. Like if dreams are influenced by the movies we see. Oh yeah. That video you asked for the other day. I was just about to bring it to you. No way! Yes! This is it! Thanks a bunch! I was super bummed, you know. I couldn't record last week's UFO Mysteries. That baseball game was going on for freaking ever. A special series airing on TV. All about the latest UFO discoveries. I'm so glad I got a recording of it. I haven't watched the video you lent me yesterday yet. Come on! You gotta watch EXT! It's a classic. I saw it in the theater three times at least. You can't talk about aliens without seeing that movie. I don't really intend on talking about aliens anyway. Thanks for recording this. No problem. An alien stranded on Earth establishes a bond with a young boy in this sci-fi movie. It's a real 1982 classic. Bet you're thinking, here she goes about those UFOs again. <laughs> no, not at all. special series airing on TV, all about the latest UFO discoveries. I'm so glad I got a recording of it. You'd be the same if you watched this. They're already here on Earth, you know. Yeah, they look like octopuses and want to destroy us all, right? No, 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 you've got it all wrong. That's from a book. You're thinking of the War of the Worlds. <laughs> oh, not Jan. There's no stopping you once you get going on this stuff. Just watch. One of these days, I'll work for NASA. And I'm gonna find a real alien. You're gonna have to get better grades in science, then. Oh, man. You're right. A classic sci-fi novel by that one famous writer. It features Martians that look like octopuses. They have three-legged weapons called tripods and use them to invade the Earth. I'll get this back to you soon. Take your time. See you guys. Bye. See you later. Fuyasaka-san, hmm. we have to go to the audio-visual room. <laughs> oh, that's so right. stoked. Everyone's already there. I'm gonna pop I in my headphones, my turn off all the lights. Yuki-chan! Huh. You still haven't gotten your new uniform yet? Oh. Yeah, who the hell knows. But never mind that. What are you smiling about? Something good on that videotape? Oh, this? Okay, okay. It's a recording of a TV show on UFOs. A friend let me borrow it. <laughs> that explains it. Glad to see Dr. Space is still alive and well. I'm weird, aren't I? Of course not. It makes me happy, actually. To know you're still my notch on. <laughs> but maybe don't call me Dr. Space anymore? You've outgrown our kid nicknames, don't you think? <laughs> Whatever you say. Well, if it isn't Takamiya. Oh, Gata. So that Kuri gang you beat up, they're hanging around our school now. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> what are you, my mom? Huh? I'm no damsel in distress. 
I can take care of my own shit. So beat it, Pinhead. What did you say to me? Okay, chill out, Ogata-kun. You don't need to start a fight in the middle of the hallway. I didn't start anything. She's the one walking around here like she owns the place. Come on, you too, Yuki-chan. <sighs> Fine. Sorry, Nachan. <laughs> what the? Well, that was anticlimactic. Yuki-chan. <laughs> Don't worry. That stuff happens all the time to me. Oh, by the way, can I come watch you practice again today? Sure. There's the bell. Better get back to class. See you soon. Not to know. <laughs> Get a better time today? Oh. Well, it was kinda windy today. Running against it and all, you know how it is. <laughs> hey, first year! What's up, Senpai? Me and the manager have to go and talk to the teacher. There's things to discuss about the next meet. Sorry, but could you handle the cleanup today? Okay. Huh? Where did everybody go? Am I the only one still here? Mm -hmm. Another suspicious looking man. I saw a couple of them in the schoolyard too. I wonder what they're doing here. Seems like they're looking for something. Hmm. Men dressed in black suits. <gasps> Wait a minute! Could they really be... men in black? An organization that monitors alien activity. Maybe... There's a UFO that's landed near here. A lone alien left behind by a UFO. Being pursued by relentless men in black. Its only hope is to be rescued by one chosen Earthling. Man, what a story that would be. Whoa! Sheesh, watch where you're going. Haven't seen that uniform before. Wonder what school he goes to. Better hurry and get on with the cleanup. Don't want Senpai to get mad. Okay, let's do this. <sighs> Finally done. Secret agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call them men in black. No one really knows much else. A classic sci-fi novel by that one famous writer. It features Martians that look like octopuses. They have three-legged weapons called tripods and use them to invade the Earth. Uh, I'm too tired to change. Maybe I'll just go home in my gym clothes. Uh, I am pretty sweaty. Uh, what was that? I 
things in there. Uh, wait, what if... What's going on? What? There a pervert in here? <laughs> Still totally dressed. Hey, what the heck? What are you doing barging into the girls' locker room? I heard you scream. I was just coming to help. Plus, all those creeps in black suits? Been seeing them everywhere. So, uh, I thought... You're the only creep around here, you moron! Get out of here already! Damn, try to do something nice around here. Um... Hey there... this alien the thing they were looking for this explains it and that means I must protect him welcome to earth I can't believe this is really happening my dream is finally coming true your name? My name is Natsuno. In our Lassiter code matched. Hmm? Huh? Natsuno. Yeah! That's me! His name is BJ. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. I don't mean to be rude, but... Is that a spacesuit you're wearing? Like, is your brain inside of a jar or something? Not to know. Need memory cell. That's amazing, BJ. Where'd you learn how to speak my language? Go to gate. Gate? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. But it's okay. I've seen the movie. You need to call your home planet, right? And then, a UFO is going to come and rescue you. Don't worry. I'm going to help you. Search, Kate. Wow. This technology is crazy. You wanna go there? I know exactly where that is. It's a shrine near school. Whoa, wait! You can't just go walking out like that. The black suits would spot you in a second.
The location BJ pointed out on the map. It's a shrine nearby the school. I can get him there, but I'll have to hide him in something. My PE bag. Yeah, this'll do the trick. A bag given out by the school. It can fit more than it looks. Hmm. Maybe he can fit in here too. I can get him there, but I'll have to hide him in something. Sorry about the tight fit. Nuh uh, you gotta keep your head down. I'll get you to where you need to go. Just hang tight, okay? <sighs> okay, doesn't seem like we were followed. This is it, Tokisaka Shrine. This place has been here forever. A pretty good hiding place too, now that I think about it. I mean, who would have thought somewhere like this was really a hub of extraterrestrial alien activity? Hmm. All right. We're here, BJ. Pretty crazy even by dream standards. One second we're at the shrine, then we're surrounded by this weird light. And now we're in this place? What the heck happened to this city? It looks like there was a war. <gasps> There's more? The government has released a statement at 5.40 p.m. Japan time. Communications with major cities around the world have not yet been restored. It is likely that these cities have also come under attack by the same unknown enemy that has besieged Japan. Domestically, multiple locales are reporting serious damages. Currently, the unknown enemy has made landfall, swarming a large area across the bay. They are now thought to be headed in the direction of Kasumicho in Sakura Ward. That was news footage. Wait, no. That's near our school. Is this... Are we in my town? I need to know more. It's hard to see here, but we have to understand. What can only be described as monsters have descended upon our town. It's quite difficult to comprehend. I see five, six, seven... No, there's more every time I look. What are they? 
Some say we are finally witnessing a takeover of aliens from space. Could this really be the end of humanity? Will our species not live to see past 2064? They're nearly upon us. To all of you watching, good luck. 2064? We're in the future? 80 years to be exact. This can't be real. Can it? Hey, where are you going? extra leg, but they're just like the tripods. Weapons used by aliens to invade Earth. And now they're destroying my home. Is this really happening? Was Earth really attacked by aliens? Do they want to destroy humanity? BJ, why? Why did we come here? Memory cell. Yeah, I know, but what is that? You're looking for this? Central. Sentinel number 17. Ah! Gotta stop doing this. Sentinel number 17. Created to fight against the tripods. It's also the robot that BJ used to pilot. Buddy, you gotta stay quiet if we're gonna keep you hidden. Let's go to the gate. I'm almost done with practice. We'll go there after. Sound good? Natsuno, be gate. Natsuno, let's go. Natsuno, let's go. I do feel bad. Locking you up in here. But I don't know where else to keep you safe. It's like I told you this morning. BJ, but if I left you in my room, my brothers would come in. They'd be able to find you even if you were hiding. Once school's over, I'll help you find what you're looking for. You 
just gotta be a good boy until then, okay? Shh. You gotta stay quiet or those men in black will find you. You really do seem to be everywhere. I'll come back during break. Just stay quiet until then, okay? So you're gonna be a good little alien, right? That means you gotta stay in there. I'm sorry I have to make you wait. But I'll be back soon. Gotta stay quiet or those men in black will find you. They really do seem to be everywhere. Oh, not again. Natsuno? Oh! Hi! That box on the floor, it's yours, right? Uh... Um... Why? You always put it in your locker. Oh, you saw, huh? What is it anyways? A clock? Uh... Um, what it is, is... Uh, well... It's a... It's a secret. Oh, I get it. Another silly UFO thingamajig. Whatever. Just put it away before Senpai sees. <sighs> oh, boy. She's gone now. I'm the sentinel. We must go to the gate. If BJ is about to be seen by someone, I'll just hide him in my PE bag. Crisis averted. <sighs> I gotta be careful. This is confidential information, after all. <sighs> you don't have any idea, do you? What would happen if they found you? You'd end up in Area 51, dissected on a table. Show me what's inside your bag. Stop! He's still after me. What do I do? Sucks. I 
I do? One of them is blocking the stairs. This really sucks. Well, if it isn't Minami... Hogata-kun! What's up? Why are you in such a rush? Actually, I'm in a bit of a pickle. I'm being chased by men in black suits. What? What'd they do? Nothing yet. But if they catch us, who knows? Dissection, maybe. Definitely a full body search. Full body? So those clothes will probably be in the way. Huh? You know, that little outfit. Outfit? You mean the spacesuit? Well, yeah. They take the whole thing off. I imagine they'll search every nook and cranny. For real? Those lucky mother... I mean, those sick bastards! Don't worry. I'll take care of this perv. Huh? Hey! <gasps> you ain't getting away with this asshole! <laughs> what the... Where'd this guy come from? Never seen someone go down so easily. He came from over there. Well, that was... something. Crap, he's coming! Someone was just here. Mm. The hell are you doing here? Yuki-chan? Good timing. I could really use your help. What now? We've been pursuing a suspicious individual. She's still in the area, and she's concealing something. If I just help him out now... Maybe old Four Eyes will let me have my way. Fine. It's an SIU assignment anyway, right? That's why I was hired to go undercover in the first place. All you have to do is locate her. Leave the capture to us. So, what does she look like? <gasps> There's... no way! Is Yuki-chan... working with the men in black? Yuki-chan... room again. Also, watch this. Watch what exactly? Shh, stand over here, quietly. Watch the laundry basket. <laughs> Did you see that, Minami? Crap, this is bad. You know what I think this is? My camera from a peeping Tom. <sighs> it's the same creep that trashed this room. He must have set this up. I can't believe my one and only Yuki-chan. She's working with the men in black. That means she can't know. She can't know about BJ. Actually, this is... uh... this is mine. Yours? Yeah, it's a... it's an alarm clock. A clock? Be 
be careful. This is confidential information, after all. So you just carry it around? Yeah, well, the thing is, I can't seem to tell time unless I look at this clock. Isn't it kind of big? Hmm? You're going home dressed like that? Uh... Yeah, I'm just in a hurry, so... Okay, we're here. Activate gate. Sentinel search range. Where should we look this time? How about sector one? Sector one has been searched. No sentinel found. I see. Bomber. What about Sector 2? 2065. We have been there. That's where we saw the tripods. It's too dangerous. What's that one at the bottom? Sector 5. 1945. Whoa. So we can travel to the past, too? Hey, that's the year the Pacific War ended. Let's check it out. Access code approved. Designating sector. is all old and musty in my time. But it smells like fresh wood. They must have just built the place. This all feels like a dream. Check it out, BJ. It's my school in the past. You really can jump back and forth through time, can't you? Lots you know. I know, I know. We have to be careful not to change anything in the past. Or else we'll totally screw up the future. If we're 40 years in the past, then Dad's only three years old. He's probably at Grandma's house. I'd love to see that. A quick peek wouldn't hurt, would it? There's something old now to know. Man, okay. This is my classroom. The sign looks a little different, though. So, is the Sentinel here? I have detected a drone signal. An active Sentinel is present. Someone's here. We've got to hide. Goto-san. Right on time. 
Here's your pill supply for the month. Are these the same ones I had last month? Why do you ask? Please, just be honest with me. The pills you've been giving me, they let me see the future. But these new pills are different. I feel awful when I take them. And they make me forget what I've seen in my dreams. You must continue your treatment. They'll completely eliminate your nightmares. Nightmares? These don't feel like... Trust me. They'll help you revert to your original state. We're putting an end to this operation. Goto-san, please wait! I can't forget. It's our only hope of survival. It's no use. I can't remember. The weapon at Ayame Pass. No. I can't remember anything. Was that Goto-senpai? How's that even possible? How could he be here? Forty years in the past. Maybe it was his grandpa. Looked just like him. A sentinel at Ayame Pass. Huh? The place that woman mentioned. All right, Ayame Pass. Wait, you mean where the park is? There is no park in 1945. Let's go. Try not to ditch me! Can't believe we're running around in a military base. What if they find us? So this is the Sentinel. It's huge! How does someone lose something so freaking big? The Sentinels are linked to their shifter. It was shifted here. Crazy. Anyhow, I'm just glad we found it. This is Sentinel number 19. Wait, so it's the wrong one? Sentinel number 17. Right. You said number 17. Correct. We're searching for Sentinel number 17. Number 19. Belong to a comrade. I cannot pilot his sentinel. What happened to him? I have confirmed a cease in his vital functions. Do you mean... he's... Correct. He is dead. PJ... A critical change has been detected. Huh? The Sentinel's primary system has been altered. Someone bypassed and rebuilt it. I don't really know what that means. Maybe one of the people here did something to it. That would be impossible with the technology of this era. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at 0800. <gasps> Someone's coming! Professor Doji suspending operations. I know the Sentinel like the back of my hand. And I have no problem taking it to the front lines. Even there, I can perform at full power. So, why? Alright, enough. I'm starting to sound like Takatoshi-san. Nothing to get riled up over. I'm sure the people in charge have their reasons. Once the order comes, 
I'll be ready to lay down my life. And even if it never does, I'll still be ready. He's gonna fight too? Dang! Now someone's coming from the other way! Jeez! It's been a while, number 19. Let's have a look at you. Huh. Well, it looks like an alternate route was successfully created. It actually worked. And on my second test subject, no less. Impressive, Keitaro Miura. Nanomachine reconstruction agitates the brain. But you endured the process without losing your mind. With this data, I'll be able to take over the Sentinels. Goodness, I should be on my way. Professor Doji's security detail will return any moment. As promised, I'll remove the lock on the Sentinel. And there's one more thing I'd like to do. Just for good measure. There we go. As long as they come into contact with Miorakun, the data should spread to the others. Who was that guy? They should leave. Let's hurry. Yeah, you're right. We're here, BJ. Someone's coming! Quick, hide! I'm pleased the data is complete. I suppose negotiating with the Professor was the right choice. Huh. The settings have been tampered with. Was someone just here? It seems this gate has been compromised as well. I'll set it back to its original key. I'd best take my leave. Use the gate? Is he an alien too? He changed the key. I can no longer shift. Seriously? We can't go home? Analysis will be complete in 78 hours and 24 minutes. I can't stay here that long. Can't we find another way back to the future? The gate and the sentinel are the only safe methods of shifting. The sentinel? What was that just now? Someone else is coming. I have to hide BJ fast. It came from around here, I think. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe I saw a visiting god. <laughs> Not likely. So much for my first day of time off. It's already night. Shihiro's probably worried about me. Shh. <laughs> State your name. I know you're there. Freeze! Who are you?
Yep. a washing machine that freaking inspection hatch definitely don't recommend he hit my butt so many times ah! how in the how am i supposed to get down from here companion ladder on the front oh right the thing I used to get up here in the first place. Oh, that was scary. Just the thought of slipping and falling all the way down. My hands are real sweaty. BJ, are we? We made it back, right? It is 1985. A robot as big as this. I can't believe it's capable of time travel. Alien technology sure doesn't disappoint. Wait. Where's Miura kun He is already gone. You mean he's somewhere out in the city right now? That's not good. What if those men in black get a hold of him? They probably want to take him to Area 51. Our situation is more critical than his. <sighs> oh no. A bunch of police cars are starting to gather down there. I guess we did kind of destroy the building. Oh man, we're gonna get arrested, aren't we? Yeah, okay. What the heck are we gonna do about this? You have to know. Right. First things first. Let's get you in the bag. you up, BJ. But those men in black are still wandering around. Let's go to the gate. Okay. We need to get out of here before someone sees us. Hmm? Hmm. My notebook's not in here. Research notebook on aliens. Where did I put it again? I was writing in it during class today. Oh, yeah! I took it to the audiovisual room. Crap! I totally left it there, didn't I? Someone saw my notes. I 
gotta get my notebook back. No matter what. Aw, oh, yeah. Got it. All right, Minami. Listen up. All top-secret documents need to be kept extra secure from now on. We can't afford leaks. Put them somewhere safe and keep a sharp eye on them. Right. You got it, boss. That's enough. We have to keep moving. I know, I know. To the gate, right? No. I've detected an unfamiliar signal. It's coming this way. What is it? Unable to identify. Estimated threat level is extremely high. Leave this area now. The men in black. I can't use those stairs. Better take a detour. I can go from the opposite side. Oh! You saw me? No! <gasps> Whoa, what the heck? You almost hit me! Man. Imposter? No, it's an android created in her likeness. Oh, I get it. Those evil aliens are after you. So they made a robot to track you down. Where are we now? I ran into the bathroom. This is a dead end. There's nowhere to run. Not helping. It's too late. Force. Just do as I say and come out quietly. Someone else is here. What a surprise. How'd you find me here? I thought number 17 was gone. But its signal led me here. Hmm. Now that I found 426, I can't just walk away. Whatever you have planned, I won't let you go through with it. You know Ida was full of crap, don't you? And you still have something against me? Many people fell victim to you. That much is still true. That's why I have to destroy you here and now. You're awfully dramatic for a machine. And I'm awfully strong, too. <laughs> well... His body really is falling apart. I can barely hold my gun straight. <laughs> Didn't think I'd ever be able to resort to violence. I would have expected it, knowing who you were. I guess even your heart is just a machine. You're not going to yourself. No Whatever. It makes it all easier. <laughs> what the heck just happened? It seems quiet now.
okay. Uh, 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 mouse on? Whoa. It really is a robot. It looks just like Usami. What are you doing here, Tamao-san? And this... Did you do all this? Stay back! Hey! Don't jump out like that! She's also an android! Created in Tamao Karabe's image! She's a robot, too? I'm the one who called her here. However, as of a few moments ago, I can no longer identify her. Stay back, Yachino. <sighs> I didn't expect you to be here, too, Miura Kuni. You're... I see. You switched bodies. Yachino! not broken. What did you do to BJ? Why did you come for him? Forgive me. We seem to have a misunderstanding. I've come for you, Natsuno Minami. What? Those monsters, the ones that destroyed the city, they have a new commander. And it's you. So... Starting now, I'll be the one giving you orders. Usami. Uh, man, I can't really remember what happened here. We should go before anyone else shows up. Yeah, you're right. Come on, we can't let anyone see you. I can't believe my one and only Yuki-chan. She's working with the men in black. That means she can't know. She can't know about BJ. Wait, how are you here, Tamao-san? This place isn't ideal. I'd be found far too soon. Hmm. Maybe Tamao-san was abducted by a UFO. Wonder what they did to her. <sighs> Who is this? Does she want to join the team? Oh, um... Well... Wait, don't tell me. 
You turned in your sign-up form but never came, huh? It's Iba-san, right? Erika Iba? Uh. So, Iba-san, you're in Class 1D? Right next to Minami-san in Class 1C. Uh, yeah, right. Have you recovered from your illness? Well, actually, she... Not entirely, so can't join yet. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's too bad. I hope you get well soon. Maybe she just looks like Tamao-san. Could there really have been someone like this just next door? Huh. Erika... Aiba... Class 1D... Next door... Hmm... She's pretty weird. Yeah. Right. I should go tell the coach. BJ, did she find you? She? The girl that was just here, Iwasan. Nobody was here. Huh. Let's go to the gate. I didn't see any men in black outside. Maybe we can sneak out. You gotta stay in there. Danger. There isn't a second to spare. Yeah, whatever. Okay, we're here. Activate gate. Sentinel search range. Where should we look this time? How about sector one? Sector one has been searched. No sentinel found. I see. Bomber. Sector 2 looks suspicious. Sector 2 was our first destination. Yeah, but we didn't get to look around much. Search. Access code approved. Designating sector. I don't see any tripods. But we shouldn't let our guard down. Okay, 
How should we do this? Yes, you know. You wait here. Huh? You're going by yourself? Fires continue to burn on the surface. It's too dangerous. Time required to search the path is 27 minutes. Oh, come on! We come all the way out here and you just leave me all alone? It's not often I get to time travel. I certainly won't waste it waiting. I'll make it quick. Just gonna peek around a bit. here I saw something light up <gasps> is that a sentinel <laughs> look who found it first that's what you get for leaving me behind Brain's okay. I'm sure I can save him. Oh, where is it? Is this it? This light bulb thing. I think it's this. There's some letters on this. Shikishima. Shikishima Robotics? Wait, as in the appliance company? I'm such an idiot. PJ's not an alien. He's a robot made in Japan. PJ's not an alien. He's a robot made in Japan. different robot? You found a sentinel. Sentinel number eight, a remote control type. This is not sentinel number 17. <sighs> Were you made by Shikishima Robotics? You're just a robot made in Japan. You're no alien. Isn't that right? Yeah. I bet this is another one of Shikishima's. Uh, does that mean... the tripods too? Four-legged autonomous cranes from Shikishima Industries. High Quad 150B. No way. They're heavy machinery robots for the development of Mars. But why? Why are robots meant for Mars invading Earth? They are not. This place is not Earth. Not Earth? It is a speculation. The lack of proof makes it only a possibility. Okay, but... What? The basis for my speculation is this log. Huh? All right, go on. There are 117 planets under consideration for the project. Of those, the top prospect is a planetary system 12 light years away. 
I don't think this is going to work. Aren't you the professor's daughter? Yes, I'm helping with the layout. For the migration ship? It looks quite small. In the harsh environment of space, it is not possible to sustain life for extended periods of time. The ship will be carrying only our DNA. In the final phase of the project, humanity will be restarted. So we're creating aliens. How large of a population are you estimating? We're planning for six million. And you really expect me to approve of this project? If you just listen to my mother's explanation. It is not necessary. This endeavor is nothing but self-satisfying. It is impractical. Now that my father has passed away, I am the one in charge. The research will be disposed of and the funds suspended. You can't! Ogata-san, please! This was recorded in 2188 with Natsuno Minami's ID. A communication log between Natsuno Minami and Shikishima's top executive, Renji Ogata. Ogata-kun? After this log, the plan was implemented. But 2188 is in the future. We are further into the future than when the log took place. Natsuno. Do you understand? It is possible. You are the alien they created. <gasps> right! Go. Wow, you actually stayed hidden this time. So... I saw a log made by me, but from 2188. In it, I spoke about a project capable of creating humans on another planet. And according to BJ, this is that planet, and we are those creations. But the log alone doesn't leave me entirely convinced. You mentioned something once, that we're the ones who are aliens, that this is a different planet. I find that hard to believe. Okay, I understand. Hey, so... There's something else about Sentinel number 17. There are logs from 2188 hidden inside it. If I can find this sentinel, then I can find out once and for all if these aliens are real. Turns out, he wasn't an alien. He was actually a futuristic robot made by a Japanese company. BJ, what kind of robot are you anyway? I am an AI, only integrated into a Sentinel. There was an incident. I had to transfer myself into this drone. So when Miura-kun called you a... a piece of Sentinel technology, he wasn't wrong then. Hey, so... The sentinel you're searching for. There's more than one, isn't there? The video logs from 2188. Sentinel number 17's memory cell. It contains all of the logs. 
Now that I've seen one, I need to know the truth. So I'm gonna be tagging along. At least until I get a good answer. Got it? You too! This is certainly no time to be training. Let's go find it, little guy. Senpai? Huh? Uh, hey! Where do you think you're going? Skipping training again? Well, the thing is... There's something I really gotta do, so... You first years are such slackers. And now I gotta deal with our track room getting trashed. Ugh. Maybe a stray cat got in. No. Someone broke the lock in the middle of the night. I wonder... Were those men in black looking for BJ? Here you go with your nonsense again. Sector 1 anyways. 2105. Hmm? The 22nd century? Access code approved. Designating sector. the lights on. Hey, BJ. You said this place is underground, right? How are things looking up on the surface? Highly contaminated with toxic levels of radiation. The environment is too inhospitable for us. Seriously? So we ended up nuking them? It was the government's last-ditch effort after the city was destroyed. And we still couldn't beat them? There were too many of them. This underground facility is the last place of refuge. Nowhere else is safe. <sighs> what have you been looking at this whole time? I'm searching for... memories. Like your own memories? After I read a self-diagnosis on this drone, I discovered my memories were fragmented and inconsistent. 72% of them have been deleted. They've been tampered with twice, possibly more. By who? Unknown. Though in all likelihood, 
The memory of the Sentinel's location was deleted then. In this facility is this era's largest quantum computer. If anyone were to store memories here, they would be at least 300 meters below. What's wrong? Someone just shifted to the hangar. They're coming this way. <sighs> what do we do? Who are they? They erased every last trace from the system. We must hide, quickly. Wait for me! What do you think? Hard to say. I need more information. This decode is... problematic. It attaches to the part of the brain where memories are stored. It must be physically severed to be removed. The damage this procedure does to the brain... is lethal. That program... the one that severs the code... that's what's infecting the Sentinels. Right. Sentinels. I wasn't aware that control over the automated factories could be partially adjusted. You did well to discover that detail. It wasn't me. It was Juro Izumi from two loops ago. Two loops ago? Hmm? Have you forgotten? We've restarted twice since the world ended. I see. The shifting range isn't just limited to residential zones. Sector Zero makes that possible. In any case, we don't have much time. Where did you get all this information from? <sighs> from the computer and the underground UFO. <laughs> UFO, huh? Is that what you've been calling it these days? Well, can we go there? <sighs> yes, we can. You are the one who made it possible, after all. Have you really forgotten? In case you couldn't tell, I have a child's brain. The occasional memory lapse is to be expected. Now, let's go. Wasn't that Chihiro-chan? And Goto-senpai was with her. You saw that too, right, BJ? Calm down, Natsuno. Man, if you didn't stop me, I totally would have jumped out at them. I saw Goto-senpai in the past. I guess he's able to time travel, too. She was dressed like a kindergartner. That was Chihiro-chan, right? Miura-kun's little sister? She didn't seem like she was unhappy to be there. And there was something different about her. Goto-senpai was talking to her like she was a scientist. Hey. VJ? I've located it. It huh? was in the access log's history. My memories really were stored here after all. Really? Apparently. I predicted all of this... somehow. We have a problem. What is it? I'm unable to locate the memory data. They're stored in the cache somewhere. But they appear to be hidden. Isn't this supposed to be some super strong computer? Can't you do a quick search of it or something? After a preliminary scan of the cache, 9.216 billion data units were found. If I were to trace every unit, I'd need about 80 days. I must have left some kind of hint. Something to identify the data unit. Identify? What do you mean? Each unit is a three-dimensional construct. 
Their coordinates consist of two alphabetical letters, as well as two numerical values. I know I left some kind of hint. Two letters, huh? Back when we first met, I just assumed BJ was your name. But maybe... BJ? That's the name you gave me. No, I didn't. You're the one who said it. I have no logs of this exchange. Wait, let me think. Yeah, it was something like... BJ 11 BJ 11 So, was that it? Yes, I've located it. Oh, right! And? And? Sentinel number 17. I know its location. So, where is it? at an altitude of 500 kilometers. No way! So, it's up in the sky? Yes, in an artificial satellite orbiting the planet. Orbit? Like, in space? I cannot access it from here. Let's go. Where? To space? To the place Renya Goto mentioned. The UFO. year student did you need something from us <sighs> it's open <gasps> where's BJ you are. Hiding in the laundry basket, huh? Wait, was that girl... Was she looking for you? It seems likely. You think she's working with the men in black? Her affiliation is unclear. However, her intentions... She wants the logs, doesn't she? Correct. For information on technology and the future. People are starting to suspect me. We gotta hurry and find that sentinel. It's only UFO, right? You said UFO, but... It was manufactured in Japan, wasn't it? It is the name of a control system. <sighs> right. So, where do we find it? The gate. My bag's been open, too. She must have looked in here. That second year could be outside still. Don't worry. If I see her, I'll just sprint right on by. See her. We're here. At 
2025 got hit pretty hard, too. Uh, there's something on the ground. It's a student ID from my school. Ryoko Shinonome, Class 2A. This picture... That's the girl I saw in the track room. How'd this get here? places and ruins but it almost seems like someone's living here is the ufo close by it's 1.7 kilometers away hey don't leave me behind again we're supposed to stick together stop right there <sighs> she don't know me senpai Wait, did you time travel too? I've been waiting. I knew you'd be here. This is 426's hideout. You're working with him, aren't you? 42 who? The heck are you talking about? I've never been here before in my life! Don't play dumb. I'll deal with you later, Natsunomi Nami. And when I do, you will tell me where he is. But right now, my mission is to take that data unit back with me. Now hand it over. Ryoko Shinonome. You're being used. There's a reason they want you to find me. It's to prevent you all from seeing the logs. And uncovering the truth. I don't care about that. Even the logs about you. And Tetsuya Ida? <sighs> You're not taking BJ! Natsuno, don't... Out of my way. <laughs> Natsuno! It's freezing. Wait, where am I again? Uh, oh crap, that's right! PJ! Maybe he's... Nope, never mind. not here. BJ! Not over here either. What a mess. With the way things are, it's looking pretty grim for me. I can't go home.
This should be a good spot, right? The river's nice and wide. Plus, no one else is around. It shouldn't be a problem if the Sentinel pops up here. Are you going to summon it right now? Perhaps we should wait until nightfall. Well, we're going to send it right back, aren't we? If it's only for a second, then we should be fine. I want to change the registered pilot of Sentinel number 17. To you, Natsuno. Wait, right here? Why? I was previously using Miura's ID. However, the ownership of the ID returned to him. It's because I operated Sentinel number 19. I can no longer pilot a Sentinel. In order to shift to the Sentinel, it must receive a new pilot. And this change comes with a price. It will reset the Sentinel's stored memory. Wait, that's not good. Then, what do we do? You'll transfer all data logs to me. If it's done at the same time we change the registered pilot, I should be able to secure the log data. Good thinking, BJ. Not enough. From now on, Sentinel number 17 will be... Right, right, no problem. I'll be the one who pilots the robot. And I'll fight together with my pal, BJ. As long as Nachan isn't in any danger. Sentinel number 17 will protect Natsuno. If anything, I should be the one fighting. There is another Sentinel for you. What did you say? You must work together. And survive. You know it. Both processes must be performed concurrently. Natsuno, it's time to activate. Okay. that it it disappeared does that mean it worked BJ BJ you okay buddy say something he's no longer with us what BJ was the only one who could retrieve the log data but the storage capacity on a scout unit like that is limited. He couldn't store both the log data and his own AI data. So in order to make room for the logs, he... deleted himself. No. No, you're wrong! He's just fooling around. Come on. Wake up, BJ. BJ!